Hi, welcome to the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass. I'm Dr. Steve Rittner, and it's a pleasure to welcome you into one of our classrooms today. The theme, Valentine's Day. And what we would like to share with you are some ideas for romance, ideas that you could try or that you may want to use to express love to your loved ones. First of all, starting off, we have the classical design in water. The classical design in water using roses. Now this is what normally people associate with Valentine's expression, and it's wonderful. One thing that we would like to stress is many people get caught up in this idea of just red roses, but there are so many other colors out there. There are oranges, yellows, bicolors, all kinds of things available. And depending upon your tastes and your loved one's taste, you can play with different colors, different numbers ranging from a dozen to 18 to 24 to 36. In other words, you can have all kinds of variety in your classical expression of love using roses and water. Consider the variations on these because this can give a little bit different to your kinds of expression. Moving along, we're going to show you all kinds of other ideas for the holiday. Here is another arrangement, a very classical one, a very, very pretty one. In this particular case, we happen to have a design in a water in a, uh, a cylinder. There's a, a, a ribbon that simulates aspidistra leaves on the bottom. And we're not using a lot of roses here, but we have a number of them worked into this design, along with our trick dianthus, which is an incredible flower, some of our daisy palms, our miniature carnations, a few lilies work there, some wax flower, which are a wonderful, fragrant uh, kind of flower. And although this design could be used for just about anything, it can be used for a centerpiece or whatever, we have a little heart to make no mistake that this design is definitely one that is geared towards the holiday and towards expression, expressing love on Valentine's Day. So those are two starting designs that we are showing you that are a little bit more classical in feeling. Let's show you something now that is a little bit more on the contemporary side and a little bit different. This particular duo, we've got a duet here. And the idea behind this one is why not uh, consider sending not one, but two. It doesn't have to be a big design. It could be two small ones. And in this particular case, you look at these two small little designs, they're rather interesting. They're on little pyramid containers, and they contain a couple of roses here, a couple of roses here, along with some of our lilies, our incredible green trick dianthus, uh, a few miniature carnations. In other words, expressions of love can take many sizes. We can make them big, we can make them small. And this gives us a very, very interesting approach by sending two little arrangements to signify to people who really care about each other. And in a rather interesting kind of format, doesn't it? Now, let's move along. We've got some other really neat things to show you. Here is a classical diagonal, a classical diagonal. Isn't it beautiful? Incorporating only three of our roses, along with some of our carnations here, some of our uh, wax flower, a few eucalyptus, uh, leaves. It's a very, very pretty uh, design, and it definitely states a holiday kind of uh, sentiment. Of course, we could send it along with a little stuffed animal. You never can go wrong with plush or stuffed animals. They're very, very popular, and people love getting things that have that kind of expression. So we could send the design itself, or we could send it along with a little friend to complement it. So that's an interesting approach. Let's move along and see what other interesting things that we could send for Valentine's Day to express our love and affection. Oh, here's something I think you guys are going to really like. Excuse me while I just move it here onto the platform. We've got here a very, very pretty arrangement. Again, in a heart-shaped container, the arrangement contains a rose or two, but it also has some mini carnations, palms, wax flower, trick dianthus. Very, very pretty, very full. But look also, it incorporates a balloon. The concept of using balloons to express love and affection as part of our Valentine's expression is a very, very neat way to do it. It enhances the design, it adds to it, and certainly is but another approach that we can consider very, very carefully when we're doing our Valentine's type expressions. Now, let's see. We showed you a classical linear type design with that diagonal. Let's show you another one that I think you're going to find interesting. This particular design here is something known as New Convention. New Convention is characterized by vertical and horizontal lines. 
Notice the vertical lines, horizontal lines in the x dimension and also the z dimension. This one doesn't have any roses in it at all, but it's still pretty darn cool because it has a lot of things going for it, including the red carnations, the little heart, and tulips, which are so popular. They're starting to show up at this time of the year, and they work very, very well into some of our expressions of love. So you notice a very different angle here in terms of expressing love through the use of our uh, new convention linear type designs. Now let's take it into another range and play with some things that are also very, very contemporary but in different ways. This is a really neat one. I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. I know that our staff has been working full time here at Rittner's to come up with some beautiful things to show you and some interesting designing. And I think that this is a good case in point. You notice that there are definitely little hearts that get across the idea of Valentine here on this design. Ooh, this one seems to want to move on me a little. These bricks are really cool. They're just coming in. We're seeing a lot of them. You can put uh, foam in them. You can put water in them. You can come up with all kinds of things. In this particular case, we have a few of our roses. We have some lilies over here, some of our green trick dianthus, some eucalyptus that's curled, worked in here, and some of our wax flower. And this is a very good example of, again, how you can come up with different kinds of expression in terms of valentines uh, that range from classical to contemporary and give all kinds of really, really neat effects uh, that are very, very unique that don't always go in terms of just the design and water. So we can do so many, many different things when we are coming up with expressions of love. Along with that, let's give you another example of something that I think you're going to find kind of cool. If we can go contemporary with this, then let's consider another contemporary expression. And I think you're really going to like this one. Wow, look at this. Isn't that neat? A very sculptural kind of container, very sculptural kind of container here. The container has some lilies as a focal area, some green trick dianthus covering our mechanics but also leading our eye in. And we have here only one, two, three, four, five roses. Only five roses, but what a statement it makes. And then using some of our eucalyptus coming out on this side, eucalyptus coming over on this side, and our, of course our little heart built in as well. A very, very neat expression of love and romance for the holiday. Very, very contemporary indeed in its feeling. Well, We've moved quite quickly. Let's see what else we can find here. I've got one more design I want to show you before we conclude. I think you're going to find this one kind of fun. We couldn't resist this. These kinds of things are called novelties. Novelties. And this is a little flower novelty. It incorporates a little doggy. One reason people come to Rittner Floral School is they always want to learn how to do this kind of thing and we incorporate this kind of designing uh, into many of our courses here. We've got a little doggy. Our little doggy is accompanied, of course, by the heart-shaped anthurium. A little heart to make sure that there's no doubt in our mind about the fact that this is definitely a holiday design uh, geared towards romance. What do you think? These things are always crowd pleasers. People generally love them because they're interesting and kind of funky. Well, my viewer, we've covered a lot of ground. You notice that for the holiday, we've shown you things ranging from the classical design in water to a kind of interesting mound-shaped design in glassware to various kinds of things ranging from small to large, a duet, something combined with stuffed animals, something combined with balloons, very contemporary kinds of styles, and yes, even a novelty. There are so many ways that we can express romance through flowers. We hope that you enjoyed the efforts of our staff here at Rittner's Floral School. On behalf of the staff and students here at Rittner's Floral School, we want to thank you for coming in and visiting with us today and hope that you'll continue to enjoy these videos that we produce and put up online for you to watch. I'm Dr. Steve Rittner. We thank you.